Stop using end events. The only time you need to use an end event is if you have a start event. Let me illustrate quickly the validation rules of our process model and then look how it looks from an animation. So the process begins um, and I go through my activities and at the last my tokens consumed and my process can end. So stop using them. However, there is a purpose of using start and end events together. Um, and that's just clarity of your model, the triggering event describing how your process starts. And so again, uh, if you have a start and an end event, your validation rules, um, uh, you'll get a good check mark. And then from a process animation, you can demonstrate how it begins and how it ends. Thanks for joining and I'll see you in the next one.